Kemba Walker's knee could determine the outcome of the Eastern Conference Championship. Despite having months to rest, he started feeling pain when he rejoined the team this month. Kemba had lubricating fluid injected into the knee in February and has been intermittently resting during the second half of this season. This is the same knee that has undergone multiple surgeries from 2015 to 17 to treat a torn meniscus or shock absorber that's probably not as protective now as it was before injury. So what should we expect out of him now? Working in his favor is that he says he feels good, he's coming off of rest, and he's been able to participate in practices. For these playoffs, we'll probably see his minutes managed when games and series are in hand. It's not worth increasing his risk of missing high stakes game time since the Celtics are in position to make a deep run. But we don't expect him to be unavailable when the team really needs him this year. For the long term, it is cause for concern. His story suggests degenerative changes in his knee that don't really reverse themselves. And data in NBA players who have undergone similar surgeries tells us that they participate in fewer games in the long term. We hope we're wrong because we love to watch him play, but it's not looking great. We compare a situation to Dwayne Wade, who also underwent multiple operations for meniscus tears. He missed time or played games at below 100% because of his knee, especially towards the later part of his career. Our fingers are crossed that this is a fluke situation for Kemba, but unfortunately, it seems likely to be a recurrent issue.